I'm Richard Clark. Ramana Maharshi's teachings are deep and profound. Listen each day to deepen your practice. Welcome. I'm reviewing and commenting on the book Talks with Sri Ramana Maharshi. Today is from talk 497. In the course of a different conversation, Sri Bhagavan said, Sattva is the light, Rajas is the subject, and Tamas is the object. Even the Sattva light is only reflected light. Were it pure original light, there would be no modification in it. The Manakasa, mind ether, is reflected as the Buddha Kasha, element ether, and objects are seen as being separate from the subject. Samadhi is present even in Vaivaraharadasa, practical life, our activity, Vyahara, have no existence apart from samadhi. The screen is there when the pictures move past on it and also when they are not projected. Similarly, the self is always there in vyapahara activity or in shanti peace. In this discourse, Ramana Maharshi is explaining the nature of the self and how it remains constant, regardless of whether you're engaged in the activities of daily life or in a state of peace. He begins by describing the three gunas, qualities, sattva, rajas, and tamas. Sattva represents light, clarity, and purity. Rajas represents activity and movement, and Tamas represents inertia and materiality. You move between these three gunas. However, even Sattva associated with clarity and purity is described as a reflected light, not the original light of the self. If it were the original light, it wouldn't undergo any changes. Maharshi then explains how the mind or monokasa, mind ether, reflects external objects, or bhutakasa, element ether, creating the illusion that the subject, the experiencer, and the objects, what is experienced, are separate. This is the nature of the mind. It projects distinctions creating a sense of duality. Yet, this duality is only apparent. It is a mental image. It does not touch the true nature of the self. The essence of the teaching here is that samadhi, complete absorption in the self, is always present, even during what you would call normal everyday life, or Vaivahara. Maharshi likens this to a movie screen. The screen remains constant, whether or not images are projected onto it. Likewise, the self is constant and unchanging. Whether you are caught up in the activities of life or resting 
in silence and peace. The self is not affected by your thoughts, actions, or experiences. It is the ground upon which all these things appear. This points to a key insight. You don't need to retreat from a life or stop all activities to experience the self. The self is already present in everything you do, even when you're engaged in worldly matters. Realizing this frees you from identifying with the mind and its projections allowing you to live from a place of inner peace and clarity, no matter the circumstances. Ramana Maharshi's teachings emphasize that the true self is always untouched and unchanged, whether you're in the midst of daily life or in meditation. This understanding helps you recognize the illusion of separation and duality, showing you that peace and stillness are always accessible. So know yourself and be always free and at peace. In 40 verses on reality, Ramana Maharshi explains the nature of the self, the ultimate reality, and self-inquiry. My new book, with my comments and inquiry questions, opens these teachings up and brings them into your practice and experience. Available now from Amazon. Link in the video description. These videos bring Ramana's teachings into your direct experience. Click subscribe to see more. Click thumbs up to like and send questions and start a dialogue with the comments 